Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Pacific 2. And I'm bringing you guys a 66 and 6 game of Black Ops. I'll be using the AK-47 with dual mag attachment. Slide of hand, flak jacket, and I believe it's either marathon or tactical mask. I believe it was marathon. No, it's tag mask. Okay. M1911 and uh, obviously the chopper, um, Blackbird, and the dogs. So uh, what? I, what in the world was that? My computer is weird. But um, as I was debating posting this because my final score was six six six, and you know I don't do that son of Satan mess. I don't play that. I will get the holy water. I will get the Bible. I will Bible slap my computer. But what I did want to talk about for a quick bit is uh, just how much I enjoyed being able to play Black Ops when it was in its prime. Going back and playing it now was like just complete and utter easy mode. I, I just don't understand how how this game went from taking a whole lot of skill to play, you know, to, oh, it's just complete easy mode. I could play it with one hand tied behind my back. Just the people who play this game now are very, very easy to beat when you play against them. And I think that has to do with the fact that a lot of the good players and a lot of the bad players move from black ops to modern warfare 3 just as every other call of duty like when you know this call of duty when this call of duty came out and it was in its prime all the bad players came from modern warfare 2 and they were rocking second chance ghost slide of hand and like hacker or attack mask or ninja you know with the famas silenced or whatever but now now that you know a lot of the people who are on modern warfare 3 are the guys running dead man's hand and the javelin those are the same players that were in Modern Warfare 2. You know, they always carry over. I think the bad players are always going to carry over from a previous Call of Duty. And I understand that Robert Bowling views Second Chance and all these other death streaks like Dead Man's Hand and, you know, all the death streaks as a compromise because, you know, you only get it after four deaths. Well, if somebody's bad at this video game, and obviously, they're probably going to die more than five times in a row. I personally believe if you die more than five times in a row, that you should be booted from the game or ejected from the game or, you know, made to sit out for a bit. I honestly don't believe that you should be able to just, you know, get your little six death streak and then kill somebody who goes on a, you know, a 40 gun streak or a 20 gun streak, 30 gun streak. I just don't believe that that's fair. I think Black Ops got a lot of the game mechanics right. It was more function over features and that's really what I enjoyed I liked how the snipers it actually took skill and the people who were good at sniping in black ops could snipe you know in modern warfare 2 and in modern warfare 3 it's not really about skill with using a sniper rifle anybody can do it I mean I think I had um, at least 150 free-for-all game plays before modern warfare 3 came out and all of them was me just picking spawn points knowing spawn points positioning myself in between them and making sure that I could kill the person before they spawned or off spawn immediately with a Barrett 50 cal or an MP5K or a TAR 21 or an ACR or you know an M4 it's just it's just very very easy and I honestly think that COD has it's lost its sense of skill and it's been it's become more you know it's more fun now don't get me wrong I love having fun when I play Call of Duty but I do think that the the reasons why you have fun needs to change. You should have fun because you're winning and you're doing well. You shouldn't have fun because you just buzz kill the kid with dead man's hand off of a kill streak. That's the wrong way to have fun. The right way to have fun is playing with your friends, playing with your teammates, doing well, beating kids and like like me and cruelty are doing here. I mean, I think this is just two of us in this game. Two or three of us, I can't remember, but both of us came in this game and we told each other, this is what needs to go down, this is how this is going to work, and we're going to win, and we're going to have fun doing it. And the entire time, me and him, every time we got like more than five kills in a chopper gunner, we call that a montage clip in a, in a kill feed. You know, that's how, that's how I enjoy myself when I play. I want to be able to do well put a good score up and at the end of the day or at the end of the game I just want to sit there and be like damn I went ham that game that's how I that's how I would like to have fun I don't want to have fun you know just just oh yeah this game is blah 
and I can use a six death streak with Taliban Pro and blow somebody up who's off of Moab, you know. They, they, in Modern Warfare 3, they stack everything against you, but that's why I still play it, because it's the challenge. I, I like, I like the challenge of being able to go into a game and smack a bunch of Type 95 Assassin, um, Blind Eye Pro, Ninja users, and make them all rage quit. That's why I still play it. That's why I enjoy playing the game sometimes, because I can get that feeling of, I can do well at this game even though the odds are completely stacked in the other team's favor. I can still do well because I have my gun and I have my specialist perks and I have I'm better than them. And that's really the reason why I have fun while I'm playing Modern Warfare 3. And that's one of the main reasons why I have fun when I play Black Ops because I can go in and it's a challenge to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this calm. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm out. Peace.